March is coming in like a lion. So what I'm going to do today is do an unboxing. Now, funny thing, I made an order with Rig Wrap, and they sent me more than what I ordered. Let's open the box up and see what they sent me. Packing paper. A Max Light. I've seen these before. It is a band instead of a single point for the light, right? Yeah. Which should, in theory, put out more light when worn. The new Cerimax cutters. I bought one, he sent me a second one. The scissors they made in the past, they worked really good. I'm hoping these will work even better. A line spooler. If you guys saw a previous video, I actually bought a line spooler to help put line on all of my B&M rods. And this is basically just the same thing. These are really handy to have. And I'm glad Rig Wrap is branding some to themselves. Oh, they sent me two of them. Maybe I'll do a giveaway sometime in the future and give one of these away. I like doing giveaways on live streams because live streams are kind of one of those one-off things. If someone came back five years from now and saw a video of me giving something away, they might post on that video and say, hey, did I win? And I'd have to tell them someone won like five years ago. A rig wrap eight pack of the smaller ones. I'll open this up and show it to you. I might give this away. I don't plan on using these with what I'm doing here. Now I did buy this, a four pack of the big orange ones. Same thing as these orange ones. Everything I say about any kind of giveaway is subject to change. I might actually use the yellow ones. I don't know yet. There's something else that I ordered. The bigger pink ones. Show you what these look like. And as you can see on the picture, I can get it to show up on the camera. You can put a float in the middle, which is kind of what I'm going to do. And he gave me super scales. I did not order these. They go up to 110 pounds, and they're meant for catfish. I will give the same complaint I had with the Whisker Seeker scales. They only go up to 110 pounds. If I want to catch 150 pound catfish, I'm going to have to use different scales. Although, who knows, maybe these go up to 150. We'll have to find out when I catch one. We'll open this up. Oh, that's nice. They come with batteries. Two AA batteries. And they have these arms that come out and make it easier to lift up the fish. And this one comes with a hook. Which with this hook, I would always use a net or a waist sling to weigh the fish. Do not put this in their gills. And that's everything. So what am I doing? I'm making a tackle box specific to dragging and stripers, live bait stripers. I intend on using my dragging gear for dragging for catfish and for stripers. So if I want to switch between the two, I need a quick way to switch them. And having this rig pack that rig wrap actually sent me over a year ago, maybe two years, maybe even three years ago, 
This is going to be my striper bag. And as you can see, this thing has held up. I mean, I have not been nice to this rig wrap. It's been in three different boats. It's been in rain. It's been kicked around. It's been all over the garage, all over the boats. And it is holding together. I mean, maybe it is worth paying over $100 for the thing when you get the kit. I will admit, since I am not a rig wrap pro, pro staff or sponsored by rig wrap, I do see a lot of people complaining that this thing is too expensive. But surviving me is, a, is an accomplishment. So yes, it is worth the money. Now let me show you what I'm going to do here. Yeah, I get some materials for my boat. For now, I'm only going to make one rig. I have these invisible spooks that I got from Alibaba. I probably paid 10 cents each. They were a part of a glow-in-the-dark spook project that didn't really work out too well. They just didn't hold the light long enough. I'm going to use 80-pound leader line to make the first rig. And I'm using ADOT Team Catfish Double Action Circle Hooks. And I'm going to do the easy snell instead of the straw snell. Easy snell, you put the line through the eye, and then you wrap it back around towards the eye as many times as you want. And then take the tag end and put it through the loop and then pull it all together. As you can see here, it makes a really pretty snell. However, the tag line is exposed. So if a catfish tooth or a gar tooth or a zebra mussel or a rock or anything cuts that, this all comes apart and you lose your hook. And I've had that happen multiple times. So I don't recommend this type of snell. Okay, going to use the cutters on this that I got from Rig Wrap. Simple. And I'm going to make this really, really long. I don't have any fancy beads, so I'm going to use these that I got from Big Fish Outfitters. They're just black rubber beads. There is no rhyme or reason at what I'm doing here. You can do it however you want. A couple of beads. I'm going to put two rattles on this one. And these rattles I got from Tackle Bandit. There's other places that sell them, like Whisker Seeker, too. Put another couple of beads on here. I'm just going to thread it on here. There you go. The beginning of a dragon rig. The spook is supposed to add buoyancy to keep the bait off the bottom. I'm going to use a polymer knot for the swivel, which you put it through the loop, turn around, put it back through the loop, so it slides back and forth on the loop. And then you do an overhand knot. This can be a little bit difficult when you're dealing with stronger line. Now, the loop on the overhand knot, I will put the swivel through 
and then pull it all together. And I recommend wetting it so it doesn't weaken the line. There you go, polymer knot. I'm going to cut it again. There's the completed rig. What I think I'm going to do, I'm going to also put a sinker slide in with the rigging. Just so it's ready to be put on the line. Now the one thing I can't put in this is the actual drifting weight. Because it don't fit. Opens like that, two tabs, opens up. Let's see if my rig will fit in here. There's a possibility I made this too long for this. Uh, I can collapse it different. Yeah, that fits. I did have to fold my rig because I did make it a little bit long, but it still works. And I put the line around that. There we go. I'm ready to lose gear and put more gear on. And the good thing about this is several of these can fit in the rig pack. I might have to buy more of these too. Yep, I need to buy two more. You can see they fit in sideways like this. It looks like you could also do it like that. However you want it. And then I can take the big orange ones and stick them in here. Oops. It looks like I need a little yellow one too. Like that. Or I can just do all yellows. And the reason for these other ones is to make striper rigs. And for a striper rig, all you need is a hook and a 20 foot leader line. And right now I don't have the hooks specific to striper fishing. So I'll be making that rig another day. Now I do want to do a bonus for you guys. As you've noticed in this video, I'm on top of a creek bank bait tank. This is a new 30 gallon tank that I bought to use with my boat. Now this will be great for large gizzard shad to use live for stripers. And that will be a future video for you guys and or it'll be for clients. I know there's a lot of people that like striper fishing and my boat is literally a mini striper boat. And this bait tank should work good with it once I figure out how to load it on the trailer properly when this is full of gizzard chat. Now I did have a 50 gallon bait tank in the past and it was just a little bit too heavy to be putting in and out and in and out of the boat. I like using that big white cooler there for skipjacks for catfishing and I put that white cooler in the front where this bait tank would go. So in order to move between the two types of fish I have to pull the cooler out and put the bait tank in. And this bait tank is light enough, it's not a chore to actually get it in the boat like it was with the 50 gallon. Now I do want to show you guys one more thing. This is how I fill my bait tank up. This I got on Amazon. It's an 1100 gallon per hour bilge pump. And it's super cheap on Amazon. And what I've paired it with is a dishwasher drain hose, a 10 foot dishwasher drain hose. These things are built to last a long time and they're built to resist chemicals that come out of your dishwasher. A lot of guys like using those hoses, those black hoses, but those things break down really quick over time. I'm hoping that this doesn't, so I guess I'm going to find out how well this works. And obviously I've wired it to a 12 volt plug. Should fill up this bait tank really quick. If I don't break it first. I've also done the same thing to the bait tank. I've got these SAE connectors that I'm using with the bait tank. 
All right, guys, I have made a mess of the garage, so I've got to clean all this up and get this thing rigged up. I really do hope some of you may have learned something new and maybe enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up to show you like it and to show YouTube that it's worth me making a disaster like this while rigging my gear. Fun times. Now, as always, I also want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to actually watch this video. I really, really appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll be able to put this stuff to practical use and catch some big fish with it. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next time.